Right. Uh, if you want to play solos, I, 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 I realize you have to play, um, you have to select team deathmatch and then you will be playing solos. Otherwise, if you just get into the casual matches, uh, you'll be s stuck with a squad. Unless that's what you're actually looking for. I, I don't want to play with squad, I just want to play alone. I'm playing this on very high and um, also using ultra quality. Uh, this is the MSI Raider GE67HX gaming laptop. Uh, it's got an Intel i7-12800HX, which has got NVIDIA GeForce. Wow. <laughs> it's got in G NVIDIA GeForce. Uh, okay, this is a machine gun. Right, it's got NVIDIA GeForce. RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU with 16 gigs of VRAM. Uh, it's also got um, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, three terabytes SSD. Uh, it's got two M.2 slots. In one slot, it's got 2280, which has the one terabyte SSD. And in the other slot, it's got the two terabytes SSD, which is the 2230, the half size. Uh, SSD right um, the laptop itself is Windows 11 home uh, it's got a 15 inch OLED um, 240 Hertz QHD uh, display and it's an OLED so this uh, laptop also has 2560 times 1440p PC resolution so I'm actually playing this on the full resolution uh, monitor I have not put this to 1920 by 1080 normally I would have played games on the 1366 times 768 but I have chosen for today and possibly for the rest of the time time being to just uh, play my games on the correct resolution of the laptop now why did I choose to do this because um, uh, solely because I want to see how the laptop performs I want to see how the laptop performs uh, with um, I want to see how the laptop performs oh wow I want to see how the laptop performs uh, on the correct resolution of um, the laptop. So I played Call of Duty 3 Modern Warfare on 2560 uh, and times 1440p resolution. Uh, the game played really well. It played on 60 FPS. And you have to remember I was playing everything on Ultra. Ultra is not the highest. The highest on the game is uh, Extreme, but uh, obviously I've, I've played Extreme before and I, I think I've mentioned this several times, I didn't find the difference of uh, Ultra and Extreme, except for the fact that Extreme does kind of push my laptop a little bit further in terms of shadows. And if you know anything about, uh, about gaming laptops, shadows sometimes can actually slow down your laptop um, like in terms of FPS so that's all that uh, extreme does it actually makes your laptop use more um, you know like these shadows you see these shadows uh, the, my shadows not showing right now but uh, you see that shadow that can actually lower your FPS I know it sounds dumb but it can how many kills do I have? I've got four kills Wow, I'm doing really well. That guy wants to gun me down, I'm gonna run away. Oh, wait, 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 come on. Yes, five kills. Nice one. How many kills do I have? Oh, damn, is that six? I got six kills. Yes, seven kills. No, I don't think I got that dude. Oh, come on, come on. 
Oh damn! Someone should be coming for me. I want to get gunned down. <laughs> oh my god! Seven kills. Oh, I have to hide. Ah! <laughs> I got seven kills. Then I got shot. Right. Um. So basically, um, Call of Duty Three, the highest uh, graphics preset on that is Extreme. But like I said, Extreme all it does. It it's um for well it makes your laptop use more um, um graphics um, more uh, memory solely for the shadows so I don't push my laptop that high I just push it up to ultra and that's it. Uh, this game is playing on the highest uh, graphics setting. Everything everything that I could push to the highest I've pushed to the highest on this laptop. So it's it's on ultra quality, it's on um, antistrophic uh, filtering. It's time 16. Uh, everything is very high, you know. So I'm I'm not like saying some things are high, some things are medium. No, everything that I can push to the highest on this laptop on this game Counter Strike 2, I have pushed to the highest. That's why I'm talking about. It doesn't mean that I'm going to be the best player. No, that's not the objective. My objective was just to test my laptop to see if I can play this on Ultra. Like uh, everything on the highest. What the hell? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> that's so dumb. Why didn't he shoot me? That sounds like, what's wrong with this dude? He's just looking at me. <laughs> How can you miss? I'm like, I don't know, this game is weird. <laughs> I got three kills. Yeah, I got three kills. Ah, oh, so weird. He's just looking at me. I'm like, shoot me. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, wow, four kills now. Nice one. I'm going to hide. Right, I, I don't like that. Um, if you want to play by yourself, like solos, like what I'm doing, you need to select uh, Team Deathmatch. Uh, the the death the team death match doesn't mean you play with a team you you play uh, it will look like you're in a team but you're actually playing solos so if you don't want to play with people just uh, select team death match and you will play by yourself you will play like what I'm doing you you get the same uh, the same uh, game that I'm I'm on because I don't like the team that that's planting the bomb thing I'm not really into planting the bomb game I like um, the solo. Oh wow. Wow, I got lucky man. Because I don't like the sniper. <laughs> it's like I'm not gonna get any kills with the sniper. So I needed to swap to the 9mm. Right, um I have I have what I'm using here, right? I'm using DS4 Windows. It's an emulator, it's similar to DSX. Uh if you don't know what that emulation um or um well I don't know how else to explain it. Um, DS4 Windows is similar to DSX and it's the one that allows me to change what this does, what the buttons do in the game uh, of Counter-Strike. So I have a profile set up for the game because you know the crouching thing is very important in this game and for from what I understand if, you, if I play this without a profile like um, People will understand what I'm talking about. I'm talking about mapping. Mapping is when you change what the buttons on your controller do in the game. So when I say emulation, I'm talking about mapping emulation using a uh, software called DSX or DualSense X or DS4 Windows. People who know what mapping is on a controller will understand what I mean. It's just changing what the buttons do. So I have a profile for Counter-Strike 2 because the ducking is quite important. If you don't, if you can't duck in this game, you might as well not play it because a lot of people in the game they do duck. Uh, if you if you don't know what ducking is, it's what the hell? What happened? All right, okay, cool. I think the game was just starting. So ducking. Oh damn! What's going on? <laughs> Getting shot from everywhere. Oh no! <laughs> You know one thing I hate about this game? It's so slow when you have to turn. Why, why couldn't they make it quicker? So I could just turn much quicker. Right, so what I'm saying is... 
Come on. Come on. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> what? I missed. <laughs> I missed. I didn't even get one shot. Right. So what I'm saying is, um, where's all this going? Oh, nice one. Ah, two kills. Nice. My highest kills uh, kill count now is seven. Um, but two is good. Right. So I'm playing this everything on the highest. Uh, on Steam Deck, you, you could pl possibly play this on medium. I think medium is the best. Wow, I've got three now. I'm counting every kill I get. <laughs> oh, wow. That's four. Four kills. I'm doing really well, you know. Five kills. I got five kills now. Right. Six kills. Wow, man. I'm on a roll. Oh, damn. Ah, the guy got me. Right, so, um, right, that was the second highest that I got. So the first highest I got was seven. Second highest was six. And uh, I'm actually doing really well. Right, so like I said, everything on this game is set to ultra or the highest, very high graphic setting. And uh, yeah, I mean, on Steam Deck, I normally, normally would have played this on medium graphic settings i do have a steam deck my steam deck is the lcd version which is the first uh, generation steam deck i do not have the oled um my steam deck is the pre-order version uh pre-ordered version you know when uh when they when you used to have to uh pre-order them so that that's uh that's the type that i've got ah damn man um, the one that I bought was a 64 gigabyte version. Um, it used to be on Steam operating system until one day it actually had a big issue with storage and uh, gave me a bit of a black screen with a flashing cursor. But I did talk about this and I said that um, I had an issue with... Uh... Where's this guy? Oh, he's up there. So camping is working for this dude. Oh damn. So like I said, um, I had an issue with the Steam operating system and the storage capacity on the... Um, basically it wouldn't go past the black screen. Um, it just had a flashing cursor. And um, the only way for me to get, um, get my Steam Deck working at that time, uh, this is like two years ago, uh, was to change the SSD. So I bought a terabyte SSD, a good one, a trans, I think it's, um, it's a very good uh, quality SSD. And I bought that, ooh, look at the water. That looks dope, right? It looks, it looks realistic, doesn't it? Realistic, it looks really nice. Right, um, so basically, um, I changed the SSD. I, I couldn't flash uh, Steam operating system for whatever reason. So I had to opt for Windows. Uh, and I opted for Windows 10. Uh, fortunately, I had my drivers from Valve's website because I did talk about that. Uh, back in the day, you couldn't uh, put the drivers for Windows on... Um, you couldn't put the drivers uh, for Windows 10 and then, um, I mean, for Windows 11 because it would, uh, the Steam Deck... This is two years ago. The Steam Deck would give you a blue, a blue screen. So you always would have that issue. So you had to have your Steam Deck on Windows 10 for a while with the graphics drivers and then you would upgrade the Steam Deck using... So you would use uh, Windows 10, install the drivers for Steam Deck. This is two years ago. I'm not talking about yesterday or today. Two years ago and then basically what you would need to do 
is you need to install the drivers while the Steam Deck was on Windows 10 and then you do the auto update to Windows 11 and then select the, the one that you want. I selected Windows 11 Pro and then afterwards, then afterwards, I the drivers that were already installed uh, would work with the Windows 11 update. You understand? So that's the only way you could get the drivers to work properly on the Steam Deck if you were on Windows. If you're on Steam operating system, then obviously um, you wouldn't have that issue because every time you update your Steam Deck, you would get uh, the drivers installed automatically. But not if you were on Windows. On Windows, you needed to install them while you're on Windows 10 first, and then you do the auto update, and then to Windows 11, and select the version of Windows 11 that you wanted. And while the drivers were installed on Windows 10, and then you would be able to use your drivers from Windows 10 on Windows 11. So that's how we used to do it. You understand? So, um, that's how I did it anyway. And then um, that's how the drivers would work. Because if you try to install the drivers while the Steam Deck was on Windows 11, you would get a blue screen. The Steam Deck would um, crash. And then you'd have to reset it again. And that was a huge problem for the Steam Deck back then. And this is two years ago. So I'm not talking about yesterday, tomorrow, no. I'm talking about two years ago, tw uh, 2022 and um that's how we that's how i got around it anyway i i installed the drivers because i i i i tried to install windows 11 and windows 11 did have a driver but that driver would uh make the steam deck crash and get a blue screen a blue screen is not good because a blue screen means the steam deck's not working properly and then it will go into a blue screen and you have to do that uh, auto repair stuff and you know windows is um it's not good. It takes a long time to repair the Steam Deck. So the only way to get around that was to install the driver for Windows 10 from Valve's website. And once the driver for the Steam Deck was in the installed on the Steam Deck, then you do the auto update. Because remember, from Windows 10, they would give the free update to uh, Windows 11. And then from Windows 11, the driver was already installed. So you, you didn't have an issue. <laughs> Just trying to run away. Look at that chicken. There's a chicken running around. A guinea fowl or something. So um, the auto update was the only way you could um, up, you could get your Steam Deck working without it getting a blue screen. Because if you try to install Windows 11 and then uh, try to install the driver, on your Steam Deck, you would get the blue screen. You understand? So this, the Steam Deck would con constantly crash every time. So the only way to get around that was to actually install the driver on Windows 10, then wait for the auto update. And back then, two years ago, uh, when uh, Microsoft was giving Windows 11 out for free. So you'd actually get the update and then you select the, the update, you know, the Windows 11 that you want. And you just have to have the key. So I selected Windows 11 Pro, and that's why my Steam Deck has Windows 11 Pro on it. So that's how I got my Steam Deck to work properly. But since two years ago, now um, Valve doesn't have that issue, obviously. You can just install the driver, the driver from Valve and it does work. So you don't have to worry about that. But I'm just talking about um, the early adopters of Windows that we had a lot of problems with Windows uh, two years ago. Not, not, a, not, a, not big issues, just the driver was an issue. But now, I mean, they've, they've fixed it, isn't it? It's been out for two years. Now they've got the OLED, so obviously, um, you know, it's very popular Steam, uh, Steam Deck, so, all right. So it's over. So these are the big dudes. Right, so cutting the long story short, that's why my uh, Steam Deck's on Windows. And this laptop, I got this laptop after I sold my Acer Nitro 5. I already explained how I got the laptop. Uh, 
Um, I'll just give you a brief history, a summary. So what happened is I wanted a gaming laptop. I bought an Acer Nitro for about, it wasn't expensive, $500. But the issue was it had an RTX 3060 graphics card and um, it was only 6 gigs of VRAM and I installed um, Fortnite. I, I do talk about this in the other videos. I installed Fortnite and um, Fortnite just wasn't working properly. I mean it, it would work properly on... Uh, it would work properly, properly on very low graphic settings to medium graphic settings it would work but not on higher and you could not play um fortnite on direct x12 uh while you're using the um, while you're using your um thing you could not um i'm looking for the word um with with the acer nitro With the Acer Nitro, you could not, um, you, with the RTX 3060, you could not play um, games like Fortnite on high graphics settings and you could not play it on DirectX 12. The game would simply crash. So I got f fed up with that. I thought uh, there was, you know, the, the game, every game I played, I had to play games on very low graphics settings. You couldn't play games really re realistically on 1920 by 1080p resolution. So I got tired of that. And I just wanted uh, normality. I wanted a laptop that could play games properly. You understand? So I got fed up of that laptop. And I was looking for a different laptop. Like I said, I found two people. One, the first uh, dude I found had a laptop. He was negotiating a lot for, his, for the sale of his laptop. But the problem with him is that you, you'd always say, you'd have excuses. Like I would say to him, your laptop looks kind of uh, old. And um, you'd say, oh, it's, uh, it's got the RTX 3080. You'd send me images of that. And then I would say, okay, can I see the inside of your laptop? Because obviously when I get it, I want to upgrade the laptop, isn't it? So I want to know how many hard drives it's got. It's a 17-inch laptop, isn't it? So I wanted to see how many hard drives it's got what the battery looks like, you know, the inside of the laptop. The guy would be like, oh, you know, I, I've, I've never opened my laptop, blah, 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 you know, all this weird stuff. So I thought, okay, you've never opened up your laptop. I found that to be strange. It was a gaming laptop, you know, but I, I thought, okay, not everyone opens their laptop. I thought, okay, that's a bit strange. But if you say so, if you say you've never opened your laptop, which I don't believe, but uh, okay, fine, no problem. So I said to him, all right, fine. Uh, what kind of SSD does your laptop have? Because I wanted to know the SSD. He said it's got a terabyte. He, he hadn't added the other images. I said, can you add more pictures to the laptop? So at least I can see everything that it comes with. So I don't know if he made a mistake or maybe he didn't realize that I, I'm not that... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? I'm not that dumb, you know? <laughs> I, I, I do look at everything, you know? He put a picture of his laptop with, um, with, um, with the, ex the SSD, had a very short cable, and it was an external SSD. So I was like, I looked at this image and I thought to myself, this, this laptop is a 17 inch laptop. It's a big laptop, you understand? It's quite big. And I'm thinking, why doesn't it have um, at least two SSDs in there? Surely, if you are able to put an external SSD on your laptop, then you should know how to use direct um, um, display manager, isn't it? How else is he using this, S this external SSD? How did he install it if, he, if he's claiming he doesn't know anything about gaming laptops? Or even laptops in general? So he's lying. So that's a lie. You know how to uh, connect your SSD. So how are you using your SSD then? How does he check it if he doesn't know anything about laptops? He's lying. So I thought, okay, fine. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. This uh, SSD of his is on an external 
Yeah, it's an external one. It's not the. Um, it's not the one that's in the laptop. He claims he can't open the laptop for me to see how many hard drives the laptop has because he hasn't put enough information about his laptop except for the graphics card. That's basically all he's selling his laptop for is the graphics card. So I thought, okay, fine. I told him, I said, look, since you can't show me how many hard drives your laptop has, I can't pay $700 because I can't pay you that kind of money and unless I know how many hard drives it has, right? Because that's the whole point. I want to know how many hard drives it's got. I want to know if I can upgrade it. And you, you're saying you don't know anything about laptops, which, which I find hard to believe seeing that you, you bought an SSD external. You must have done some research at least about that one. But uh, he claims he doesn't know anything about laptops. So I said, okay, fine, whatever. There are people like that that don't know anything about laptops. So I thought, okay, fine, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt right um so i said to the dude okay so when you come with the laptop can uh can i then uh, inspect the laptop before giving you the cash at first he said it's cool he said it's fine he said it's coming from a different city and i said oh you come from another city he said yes i said okay fine uh i told him you come over to my house uh in in the in the lounge area we'll set the laptop down so i can inspect it before we, i hand over the cash to you so he was cool with it he was fine with it at the time. Now, uh, a day before he has to come with the laptop, the, the gaming laptop, he starts giving me excuses like, oh, he can't stay long. Uh, he, he, he just wants to drop off the laptop. It's, he's in a hurry uh, just for me to hand over the cash. He, and then he gives me the laptop without inspecting the laptop, without knowing whether or not it's got any issues. And I was like, you know, a day before you are supposed to come, I messaged, I messaged him and I said, you know what, um, I don't have enough money. I don't, I, don't have, I don't have enough cash on me. I had the money, but I didn't trust the dude. And I was like, nah, there's too, there's too many stories with this dude. And I was like, nah. I told him, I said, I don't have enough cash. He said, then he said to me, how much do you have? Uh, you know, and I was like, I was thinking to myself, you know nothing about the laptop. You, you can't tell. You can't even take a. You can't even take the back piece off to show me if this laptop is any good. And now, now you want to negotiate further with the laptop. He's even willing to take five hundred dollars. And I was like, nah. I just told him. I said, look, I don't even have any money. I'm sorry. I, I can't afford it. And I left it at that. And then I found this laptop on eBay. The owner did not want to sell this laptop for a cheap price. Uh, you're selling me for about 1,300. Uh, it was Christmas time. It was Christmas, and I was trying my level best to negotiate with the guy, uh, with the dude. But he kept saying to me, "You can't sell it for less than 1,300." I said to him, I "I'll give you a grand." He refused. He said, "No, not for this kind of laptop. No way." He, he just wouldn't sell it to me for less than uh, 1,300. So in the end. Um, I just opted, I opted to keep like not disturbing him but asking him, you know, like how about 1,100 and then I think at some point he wanted to travel and he agreed and he said okay fine, uh, as long as I could just deposit the money the next day and then he would sell me the laptop. So what happened uh, basically is that I had, I had about $500 on me. I required uh, the extra cash. Fortunately, uh, the place where I bought the laptop, they, they were still, you know, it was still Christmas time, you know? And obviously, it, it was not yet Christmas. These, these uh, shop, they wanted a gaming laptop. So I went to them, I uh, cleaned up the laptop, I took it back, to, uh, I took it to them, and I said, look, I'm gonna sell this gaming laptop. And you know, the, the, key, the keyboard was looking like a gaming laptop, you know? Like I said, I, I, I know a thing or two about laptops. So I cleaned it up, made it look good. I showed them everything, the graphics card, um, that it's an Intel i7, it's an Acer Nitro. It has the, the software on it for gaming. I showed them everything, so they were happy with it. And then they offered me, I think they gave me like $400. So I had about 900 on me. But uh, I know that I had spare cash on me, so it was like, I was desperately looking for the money, you know, but I was lucky because I had, uh, I have um, extra bank accounts, so obviously, 
I mean, well, not extra bank account. I just mean like, you know, I saved money. So, yeah, I was able to pull, I was able to raise up the 1,100. So I told the dude, I said, look, that's what I've got. I can't afford 1,300, but I've got 1,100. The guy said uh, he wanted to travel. He needed money. Uh, he didn't want to sell me the, the laptop for cheap. I said, look, I'm not trying to say anything. I'm just telling you the truth. That's all I've got, 1,100. I really want a game. I just told him, I said, look, I want to play GTA 5. That's all I play. I didn't tell him about Call of Duty and stuff like that because I don't want him to think, you know, I'm, I'm you know, like I want to get the laptop cheap. I just said, look, I'm a casual gamer. I just want to play GTA 5. And he said, all right, fine, fine. Uh, just deposit the money. And obviously, I told him, check my rating on eBay. And it's 100%. He was happy with that. And he said, all right, cool. And I paid him. I put the money in. And I told him, look, I paid he was happy, he sent me the laptop. Like, I did an unboxing and everything. It came in the box, manuals. Everything was mint on the laptop. The laptop I'm talking about is this one here. I mean, if even if you look at it, that, that thing there that it's sitting on is actually a cooling pad. And the laptop itself is on top. And look at the keyboard. So you can just tell that this is not a, um, a weird looking laptop. It's a proper gaming laptop. It's it's it it is what it is. Oh, what the hell? Did I get him? <laughs> I was just I was just thinking, <laughs> how can I miss? He's right there in front of me. I know I'm gonna die at some point. Um, so that's why I'm saying this this is, I like this laptop a lot. Um, it's my first gaming laptop actually. So I'm not gonna say like I've had laptops before. No, I had the Acer Nitro. Well, I had the Steam Deck first. I had the Steam Deck. Uh, I know Steam Deck is not a gaming laptop, but um, that's what I had first. Was the um, the Steam Deck, uh, the LCD uh, LCD pre-order version, the 64 gigabyte. That was my first gaming laptop. I had a desktop, but that was crap, and it couldn't play games. And they had the RX uh, 480, which which is notoriously known for having problems with uh, textures and uh, obviously I couldn't play games on that and I ended up selling it and I made a video about it saying that the Steam Deck was a whole lot better than my desktop so I got rid of that one I got both of them. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. I, I can't believe it. I, I thought I was definitely gonna get shot. Ah oh, damn. <laughs> but that that's the, the that's the full story. I had an Acer Nitro, I wasn't happy with it. Uh the shop that I bought it from did buy it back from me because they, they didn't know how to use it. And then I showed them that you know it's got software uh, I also changed the keyboard for them. You know, it, it looked like a real gaming laptop. And remember, it was Christmas time. They did not have a gaming laptop on them. And a lot of people that kept going to the shop kept asking for a gaming laptop. So obviously, they desperately needed a gaming laptop. They paid me what I wanted. And I had uh, half the money for the laptop. Well, not half. At about 900 Like I said, I had pocket money. I had saved some money up, so obviously I managed to raise 1100 I paid the dude on eBay, he sent me the laptop, and I've had my laptop since last year, uh, Christmas time. So I do like this laptop a lot, but I don't like using it like for anything, you know, I, I, I don't do a lot of things with this laptop. So basically, yes, I play games on it. Oh, what the hell, what happened? Did I fall down? Oh no, come on. Ah, damn, damn it, damn. Right, so like I said, um, this laptop doesn't do a lot of things. That's the truth. This laptop just games. I know I know you're probably thinking it's a lie. <laughs> I'm, okay, fine. I do use it for YouTube sometimes just to keep it active. But um, I, I don't do a lot on this laptop. I, I just play games on it. That's it. 
if I'm playing, if I want to play my games, I come to the laptop. I play my games here, and then if I want to make videos, I may, I may go to the Steam Deck, obviously, and that's where I make most of my videos or with games. But I was really disappointed with Call of Duty uh, Three because. I mean, if you watch the video, it, it would not start the game. I tried to play the Paris map. I couldn't even start the game. I was like, what's wrong with this game? It just wouldn't start. And I had to wait a long time for it to start, and it wouldn't start. So I was like, what's, what's going on with this game? I, I tried everything. I put everything on the lowest graphics settings, minimum, AMD FSR 3.0. Uh, um, the performance thing, the generation, whatever you want to call it. I use all of those things. I put everything on the very lowest graphic settings. And yet the game would not work. It just wouldn't work. It wouldn't start. It would not start. It will it'll look like it wants to start. And then it will just uh, crash. Or it will just freeze. The best way to describe it, the game was just freezing. It wouldn't start. And I was like... I was thinking to myself, what's going on? What have I done? Like, what's wrong with this thing? I thought maybe it was my broadband. I was uploading videos. I remember I cancelled the videos that I was trying to upload. And I thought, okay, maybe it's an internet problem. So I cancelled the videos. There's just two videos only. But I did eventually upload those videos. But I was thinking, what's up with this thing? I tried and I tried and I tried. I put everything on the minimum. On the very lowest game will not play I don't know what they did they've updated it recently haven't they so maybe it's the update because it, it's not working on Steam Deck if, if you don't believe me watch the video watch my video and see how it was lagging how difficult it was to play the game it was hard to play that game it simply um, it simply it simply wouldn't work Wow, I got him. Oh, <laughs> that's why I like this game. You get someone and then someone gets you. All right. Oh, the guy's right there. Wow, it's like he didn't see me. I need to hide. Right. Uh, so I'm, I'm not trying to say anything bad about the Steam Deck. I, I, I have a Steam Deck. Uh, games I, I do play on my Steam Deck would be... Games like War Robots, uh, War Robots Frontiers, I've got videos about that. Those games do work, but Call of Duty, I think, I'm just going to say after the update, no, the game, the game seriously doesn't work on Steam Deck. I mean, I, I don't know what they've done with the game. Um, when I play the game on my laptop, obviously, <laughs> obviously it works. I mean... Think about it. I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing Call of Duty 3: Modern Warfare on the highest graphics um, setting. Well, the second highest graphics setting. Uh, well, uh, is it second? I don't know what to say. It's um because the highest graphics setting is extreme. I already said I can't play it on extreme because it it has issues with the shadows. You know, I I can't play it. If I want to, I can, but it's not a good experience, you know. It's not a good experience at all. Wow. It's not a good experience. So I choose not to to play uh, Call of Duty 3 on extreme graphics. I play it on Ultra, and I think Ultra is, is just as good. I mean, if not better. And I, and I still get like 59, uh, 58, 59 FPS. Close to 60. It never touches 60 FPS, but it does go around 57, 58 FPS. Sometimes 59. Wow, this is stuttering a bit. Right, so... Oh, man. <laughs> he took my free kill. So, that's why I'm saying um, that with these uh, gaming laptop things, uh, you, you do need to spend... You do need to spend a lot of money to buy a gaming laptop because to get a proper gaming laptop, it costs money. I don't think you're going to just... Um... 
Wow. I don't think you're just going to uh, wake up one day and find someone selling a gaming laptop, you know, especially a flagship gaming laptop for less than a grand. It's not going to happen. And like I said, you have to be careful with people as well because not everyone tells the truth, you know. Because with this dude, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I said, all right, bring the laptop. So I did a look at the photos, RTX 3080. And I did check that um, the RTX 3080 is actually clocked higher than the TI version. So I thought of buying it. But the fact is the guy kept um, having excuses. And he kept saying things like, yeah, you'd give me time to look at the laptop. And then you'd say, oh, no, I, I don't have time. Um, you know, I'm in a hurry. And I was thinking, if you're in a hurry, how are you going <laughs> to, who, who are you going to sell this laptop to then with that attitude? You know, his attitude was off. So I was like, nah. And $700, I could just go to a PC shop and buy another desktop. But I, I don't want a desktop. I wanted a gaming laptop. I could have even, I could have even bought the Rogue Alley. Because the Rogue Alley is like what? At that time, it was like uh, $500 or something. It had gone down in price. I could have bought a Rogue Alley, and the Rogue Alley does come, you know, you can buy that external GPU thing uh, for it, you see. I had the money, I had like a grand on me, so I could have easily bought Rogue Alley, and then looked on eBay to buy the RTX uh, 3080, the GPU, which actually has 16 gigs of VRAM as well, you see. So I, I would have still had something that plays games, and it, I would have had a brand new Rogue Alley, and a, uh, well, second-hand RTX 3080 Ti graphics card uh, for the Rogue Alley. But still, I would have had uh, another console, you see? So I had lots of options. I wasn't desperate. But the fact is, I was forcing myself to buy a laptop. I kept saying to myself, I don't want another console. I've got Steam Deck. I had two Steam Decks back then. So I had the black Steam Deck and um, the, the normal Steam Deck, the LCD version. And I had, um, I had this one, the one that I used, the Windows one. So obviously, I had the Steam operating system, Steam Deck, and the Windows operating Steam Deck. So I, I didn't see the value of having another uh, console. I know Rogue Alley's got good reviews, but I didn't want another console. So I, I was after a laptop. So when I say I wasn't desperate, I had money. I wasn't um, desperate. But I, I wanted a laptop that could play games. That's why I'm saying don't ever be too desperate and give someone your money and, and give the person the benefit of the doubt. Fine, I mean, if it's on eBay, it's a different story. But uh, this guy wasn't on eBay, you know. <laughs> so he was on Facebook, you know, Facebook market. So he just kept giving me excuses and I was like, nah. I was like, you know, the first time I let him off, Second time, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. And now he's saying he doesn't have time. He just wants money so he can rush and, and go and do his things. And I was thinking, well, okay, fine. If you're in a hurry, then you find the person that will, will give you that kind of cash, uh, $700, and not test the laptop to see if it's working properly and open it up to see how many SSDs you can put in it. Because you want to test everything. Imagine buying a car and they say you can't test drive, you can't drive it. You can't test drive the car. Just give us the money. Uh, we're in a hurry. Just uh, quickly throw the cash at me and uh, there's the keys for the car and the person just disappears. He doesn't give you a name, you don't know who he is and you don't even know if the car works. They just want the cash. So I was like, nah man, I'm, I'm not into shady deals. It's like goodbye that's what i'm saying never be desperate like that because i i put myself in a bad situation i mean it would have been bad if imagine giving that guy 700 dollars and then finding out later on that the laptop's got heating issues the laptop's getting too hot you know it's um it's um there's this thing you know when a, a graphics card gets too hot there's this thing it's called i forgot the name of what it's called when it starts having these glitches and you know it might not show the first time when you play games 
but it starts to glitch out like it's about to die the, the graphics card dies and then because it's one of those um dedicated type of uh graphics cards in the laptop the laptop now goes to the intel and you can't use the graphics card again it's like it's a dead laptop you know so you paid 700 dollars for garbage so i was like nope that's why i'm saying don't be too desperate to uh buy something especially if the person doesn't allow you to test it so i was like nah I, I, you know, I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a mean person. I just told the guy, I, I messaged him and I said, you know what? I don't have enough cash. You know, I was like, I'm sorry about that. I, I don't have enough money. Like I said, I'm a nice person. You know, I'm a nice, I'm a nice person. I just told him, I said, look, I don't have enough money. I, I can't um, give you that money. You know, I just told him, I said, I'm sorry. I, I don't have enough. He was like, oh, how much do you have? And I was like, you know, in the messages, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I can't even afford it. You know, I was like, ah, I can't afford it. Sorry. He gave me too many excuses. I was like, nah. You know, I just lost trust in the dude. I was like, nah, I can't trust this dude. You know. Then he says he's, he's in a hurry. I was like, nah. If you're in a hurry, find the person who's gonna give you that kind of cash, because you're in a hurry. <laughs> you don't have time. You, you just want the money to go. Nah. You can't do that in a shop. Even, you know, even in a shop, you ask questions, don't you? You, you ask questions in a shop, you want to buy something, you talk to the, the person who's selling you the, the thing you want to buy, and you, you have a discussion first, and then you buy what you want to buy, because you're satisfied, and then you go, isn't it? That's how it works. Some of these people, it's like, they just want to scam you, you know? So that's why I'm saying you have to be careful with people. Oh damn, this guy just went running. He's in a hurry. Damn. Guy has gone. Ah, got him. Look at the chickens. They're just walking around. <laughs> they, they don't care about anything. Carefree chickens. They're just wondering why this war is ongoing. There's a lot of battles going on. Right, so anyway, that's the story of how I got my laptop. But I'm just saying, um, as I'm just trying to inform people, don't be too desperate that you give someone money without testing the laptop first and making sure that it doesn't overheat. Like run a benchmark on the laptop. Because benchmarking can actually show you if, if there's an issue, you know, if there's an issue with the laptop, you, you uh, the benchmark will tell you because it starts to, I think they call it fracture. It's, it's, it starts to glitch. If it's getting too hot, it'll glitch out. And then you know that, ah, there's a problem with this thing. it has got a sniper. Um, you know, I'm just saying, be careful when you're buying stuff, you know. Of course, if you're buying it from a store, that's a different thing. But even even in a store, they, they give you, they, they let you test it. Yeah, they, they let you touch the keys a bit, you know. They let you look at the, spe the specs of it. I've been to PC World. You know, I ask questions and they tell me, oh, just going to Display Manager and check the specs. They don't say no. They want to sell the stuff, you know. Because they know you're going to buy something, so why not? They'll tell you, go in Display Manager, check the specs. If you're happy with it, fine. And then if you want to ask questions, ask. And ask, that what games does this play? You know, what can I play on this? And they'll tell you. But obviously, if you're buying a mid-range uh, gaming laptop, then you shouldn't expect too much from that. You're not going to get like um, a, 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 um, a beast of a laptop. You know, you're going to get what you pay for. So I think if you pay these days $700, probably get the RTX 4050, which actually comes with 8 gigs. Uh, does that thing come with 8 gig or 6 gigs of uh, Vera? I think it's 6 gigs of Vera. Uh, but obviously with the RTX 5000 series coming out, you, you might be able to get the refurbished versions. Well, you, you, you will be able to get some, 
some of those laptops uh, with the RTX 4060 for about $800, which is not bad. It's got 8 gigs of VRAM. It's not a bad thing to do. But I, 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 I always advise my friends like buy an old an older laptop with a, with a better graphics card, you know? And my friends like, nah, I want to buy the RTX 4060. I was like, cool, no problem. Um, I asked him, why don't you buy something that's got more VRAM? I was like, nah, he wants to save money. He bought himself a 4060, he's happy with it. But now he's trying to get rid of it. <laughs> trying to sell it he says it, it's not performing well you know and I told him I said you need more VRAM he didn't want to listen I think I think all he wants is the 5000 series you know he's that type of person that always buys the latest laptop so he, he, he always wants the what's new Right, this game is playing really well, um, getting 59 FPS, uh, I haven't seen any glitches, well I have seen stuttering only once, but I think, uh, I don't know what was happening, I wouldn't call it a glitch, I, I just say it's a stutter, but it only happened once, only once in, the, in, in one of the maps, not the map that I'm currently playing on, was a different map, but only once. When I say stuttering, I mean like when you try to move, you actually see that it starts, you know, like you can't move properly. That's the stutter I'm talking about. Or should I call it lag? I, I wouldn't say it's a lag because there was no screen tearing. You understand? There was no screen tearing. So I'm not going to call it a, a, a lag. I would, I would rather call it a, a stutter because I, I couldn't move properly for just a few seconds. But then after that, it was fine. Like I didn't see a problem with the um, with the movement. So it's, that only happened once. Uh, but throughout the game, it's working perfectly fine. Uh, you can play this on 2560 uh, by 1440p if you have the. Um, I'm just guessing if you have an RTX 3080 Ti like mine, uh, 2560. By 1440 with 240 hertz, no problem. I don't know about every other graphics card because I don't have those laptops. I just have the one I have. So I'm only talking about mine. Mine is actually saying 59 FPS. That's what I'm getting. And this is on ultra quality. It's on very high graphics settings. Um, the filtering, antistropic, whatever you want to call it, is on uh, eight times or sixteen times or something. Um, yeah, so I played this for like an hour now. I want to actually go into something else. I just wanted to test the game on 1440p. I played Hell Divers. Hell Divers was looking good as well. Uh, I'm gonna try and how do I? Uh man, I don't understand this thing. Right, so I'm gonna read out the graphics uh, thingy. If I can get to it, let me just read out the graphics. Uh, yeah, video. Right. Uh, okay, so multi sampling is. Uh, I can't really read it. But it's MSAA, uh, global shadow quality very high, model texture um, decal high, um, texture filtering mode, antistrophic 16 times, uh, shadow uh, detail high, uh, particle detail very high, ambient uh, occlusion high, high dynamic range quality. Uh, Fidelity FX super resolution ultra quality and Nvidia reflex low latency enabled so everything on here is ex high you know or ultra quality so that's why I was saying that um, yeah I mean I was playing this on very high graphic settings that's Counter-Strike 2 and as you can see my lap everything on my laptop has shrunk because I am using the proper resolution 
let me see if I can, um, I know the video is long, but let me try and get into display. I don't know if this is going to reflect. Uh, I need to kind of zoom in. I'm using a tripod, so I have to kind of every every so often uh so i i hope this is coming out properly it does say 25 uh by 1440p and i'm um, gonna look for the um, and there you go 240 hertz so i'm actually using the full resolution of my laptop on this games uh let's see msi after burner look how tiny this thing is and you can see how what it's saying 1492 8000 memory 1081 millivolts and it's saying 40 de 46 degrees celsius uh let's go to nvidia geforce experience and um this is saying uh sorry uh let's see this numbers uh i'm using a tripod so i have to change these things sometimes so it's saying 1492 megahertz 44 degrees celsius 51 uh watts uh, memory clock is 8001 megahertz and the GPU voltage is 1.1 volts like I said 1100 millivolts so that's yeah it's it's not too bad uh, let me go back to this all right so I don't know why this is not showing oh okay so it just changed that's GTA I was playing GTA 5 but I, I kind of I just moved away from that. Let me put this back to Joe Sense. I'm thinking of what game, what other game to play. Um, played Hail Divers. I played GTA 5, Call of Duty. Um, I just try to think of what other game to play. I was playing War Robots Frontiers, uh, but I'm having problems with the. You know, I'm having issues with the. Sorry, I'm having issues with the thingy. I'm having issues with my uh, DualSense controller. I don't know why it's not letting me um, play play the way I want, you know. So I'm having to like the game's working, but it's just that I, there's I have a play style and I, I have a way of how I like to play the game. And at the moment, I feel like I'm not able to play the game the way I want to. So that's why it's not like I'm avoiding the game. Um, yeah, the next game I'm going to do is uh, going to be Fallout 84.